Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Safe to say, was not expecting to make this video today. I'm sitting here, I'm chilling out, Max, relaxing, all cool. Lo and behold, I get a tweet notification from Raven. What do they say? Well, we got a new update live in Warzone right now. And in this update, we've got uh, what appears to be a new preview for a perk change coming. We've got an MG82 nerf and some more previewed weapon tuning coming in the future. So as we break it all down, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new here or if you haven't already subscribed, I am always covering everything going on in COD news, intel, updates, all sorts of stuff like that. So feel free to subscribe. That way you can always stay up to date. That is right. A few minutes ago, Raven tweeted out saying the patch notes for season four have been updated. We scroll down. We've got the June 22nd update gameplay. So first off, they announced some perk stuff, some thoughts on perks. We are exploring all avenues in terms of changes to provide fair and reachable counterplay options to dead silence. A decision like this must be made carefully, especially considering how it may destabilize other aspects of the game. We cannot promise anything at this moment, but as we close in on an appropriate solution, we will share more details. Sit tight. So something to apparently counter dead silence may be in the works. Perhaps that's an upgrade to one of the current perks where maybe uh, dead silence footsteps aren't completely silent. They're just, you know, slightly uh, reduced. Maybe that's a brand new perk that highlights footsteps regardless of dead silence. It looks like a counter to Deddy may be on its way. At the same time, I feel like Deddy could also sort of uh, undergo the whole stopping power uh, experience where they just reduce the overall spawn rate because right now it feels like every time you open a chest, every time you walk into a brand new unlooted building, there's a dead silence sitting there just waiting to be picked up. So it's like, it's almost in every single fight. It's, uh, it's pretty much constantly in play right now. So maybe they just reduce the overall spawn rate of dead silence. Personally, I think that would be like step one, but it seems like they're jumping straight to like step three here. Uh, they may be trying to add in something to actually counter dead silence. So that's definitely very interesting. But we also have the weapon tuning update here. Weapons for LMGs, the MG82. The maximum damage was decreased from 30 to 29. So its maximum damage was reduced by one. The minimum damage was decreased from 28 to 27. So now it is gonna take more shots to kill. The maximum damage range was also decreased by 20%. So now even if you're running the match grade or the, uh, I believe it's the task force barrels, both of those are there to extend the range and the velocity and whatnot. Uh, those are not going to be as effective. And in general, the MG82 at longer ranges is not going to be as effective. Either that 20% decrease there, hopefully that's enough to sort of deter it from being just a laser beam in every type of fight imaginable, right? Uh, the headshot multiplier was also decreased from 1.3 to 1.2. Not the biggest reduction, but it should have some impact on the overall headshot TTK. The upper chest multiplier was also decreased by 0.1. Uh, again, not a huge decrease, but it should be enough to sort of swing it in some fights. The extremities multiplier was decreased by 0.1 as well. It's now under one. And the vertical and horizontal recoil was increased. That to me is a big update because it pretty much had no recoil. The vertical recoil that it had was straight up. It didn't really have any sort of horizontal recoil. So it was so easy to use and so easy to stay on target. Then when you factor in all the damage that it would do in the TTK, that's why it was so overpowered and so broken. They say, we had envisioned the MG82 as a short to mid range LMG, given its relatively fast handling mobility and rate of fire. However, it also retained many powerful LMG traits like damage profile, bullet velocity, and magazine size, all while having negligible recoil. These factors in combination created one of the most dominant weapons to land in Verdansk. Do not be deceived by the magnitude of these changes. The damage per magazine rate of fire is still top tier, so we expect the MG82 to remain viable. Of course, we're gonna have to try this out in gameplay, see how it uh, you know, competes against the C58, the Amax, the Farah, even things like the Bruin, the PKM, and the Stoner to see if it actually is balanced now and not ridiculously overpowered. But hopefully uh, this is enough of a nerf that it's uh, balanced and uh, usable, but not gonna be just abused by every single player like it was up until this point. They also have a new note about the SMGs, the nail gun. They say, we'll be keeping a close eye on the nail gun. We feel it kills about a bullet faster than we would like. With extremely low rate of fire weapons, they can be on a razor's edge of balance, wherein missing a single shot can turn an incredibly fast TTK into one of the slowest in its class. This is not the case with the nail gun now, but if it required an additional bullet to kill and nothing else changed, it would likely be. So we may push and pull on some of its functionality to ensure that it fulfills its role as highly mobile, Close range, a fully auto dominator that can rival shotgun TTKs, but rapidly wanes in efficiency the further away enemies are from you. Uh, they are just nails after all, which is true. So it looks like the nail gun may be getting a nerf here in the near future as well. Uh, there were also a handful of bug fixes with this update. They fixed an issue that was causing some players to have to restart the game in order to unlock a gifted battle pass. They fixed an issue causing tier skips to not properly apply when receiving a gifted battle pass. 
They fixed a locked control room door in Salt Mine that was killing players. They fixed an issue causing players to lose control of their operator after walking through a red door if another player had previously died going through it. Then they also fixed an issue with some of the QBZ blueprints that would cause players to crash. So that's when we talked about the other day. Unfortunately, uh, no fix listed here to the now uh, exploitable area over in like one of the school based buildings. I know it's in the little town area. There's one in Promenade. There are multiple of them across the map and uh, you can actually go prone inside of them and then uh, actually wall breach. So hopefully that gets fixed here soon. But a little update today that actually had some pretty big impact on the game. Uh, perk change could be coming or a new perk could be coming. LMG changes, obviously the M82, hopefully, or the MG82 rather is going to be reduced in efficiency. And potentially we have a nail gun uh, nerf coming as well. So quite a few things were announced today. I am definitely for one very excited to jump in and actually see uh, what these changes are going to be like with the MG82. Because I mean, let's face it, since season four dropped and since players got their hands on this weapon, there was zero reason to use any other gun in the game. This thing was good up close because it actually has pretty decent mobility. Medium range, no brainer, long range. You could outgun snipers with this thing because it was so laser accurate and so powerful. You add in like mounting to the situation, it was just unreal. So hopefully these changes are enough that uh, it deters players from just abusing it like before. And honestly, I'm really excited that they're actually addressing Deddy here. In general, I do think perks could have like a big rework or an overhaul to them to really spice up gameplay. We've talked about this before, uh, how dominant things like EOD and Double Time and, uh, and Cold Blooded are in perk one, how underutilized things like restock and high alert are, um, and then plenty of uh, perks in perk three as well. So hopefully this is like a step in that direction where they actually are looking at perks more than uh, just, you know, uh, ignoring those and only focusing on a weapon meta. But anyways, also just another quick side note, figured I'd throw this in here because we are talking about updates and what Raven's talking about. Uh, uh, they did also announce on Twitter via a response that they are looking into the fin not working properly. There's an issue with the chainsaw uh, variant of it, basically, where your hand blocks all your vision. They also are looking into the adverse barrels not actually working at all, from my understanding. So uh, for now, I probably wouldn't recommend using the fin. It's pretty broken, uh, but they are working to fix that here at some point in the near future. Uh, that is the small update that went live today. Pretty cool changes, if you ask me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. it. would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new here or if you haven't already subscribed, I am always covering everything going on in COD, news, intel, updates, all sorts of stuff like that. So feel free to subscribe. That way you can always stay up to date. Once again, and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.